Hello everybody, it's Benji here. Um, just a quick little talk before we start the video. I'm feeling not that great and my throat is very extremely sandpapery. So um, try not to tune out before the video ends because I'm trying my best to not sound like death. Um, but yeah, how to create a Minecraft server in under three minutes, depending on the internet. So first thing, open Minecraft launcher go to your installations and click on the version that you want to download a server for. So 1.16.4 for instance, you want to click these little three dots over here, click edit, and then under above version or in line with the version, there's a little server download. Click that, opens Google, and then yeah, it downloads server.jar. You want to drag that to your desktop. I'm going to actually rename it to what it should be, which is server.jar. And in the meantime, I'm going to open up my Optifine, or my launcher. And yeah, so you've got a server.jar, and I would recommend creating a folder on your desktop or wherever you want it. Um, could be in documents, could be anywhere. Um, just a normal folder, and you want to drag server.jar in there. Double-click the folder. You want to double-click server.jar. And don't worry if it takes a little while. Some, sometimes it takes a couple seconds, sometimes it takes you know, like a little bit longer. It creates server properties, Eula text and logs. You want to open the Eula.txt. You want to change the false to true. Um, I would recommend reading it. It's literally just like, don't use this in a malicious way sort of thing. Um, just don't do anything bad on the server for like using their server. Like don't hack NASA or something like that. Um, yeah, so once you do that, this little thing opens up and it just shows you everything, shows my IP probably, so yay. Um, preparing spawn area, stuff like that, and then it's done. So then what I would recommend doing is typing in stop and that closes. Go over to your server.properties and scroll down to view distance. I would make that 16, save. And if you really want to, you can change this bottom thing to like, say, server video save. And now if you open server.jar again, should be opening at any time now. Yep, there it is. Preparing world. So this is the world. If you have a, sp a world already, um, you can drag it in here, delete this world here. And rename, say for instance, it's like Let's Play. Say if you drag this in, it's called Let's Play. Um, you have to name it World for it to work. The only other way around that is going into server properties and changing um, level name or something. I can't remember where it is. Um, level C, that's different. Level name, world, so you you can change that to whatever you want, whatever it is in here. You don't have to. Uh, now you want to open Minecraft, the version that you've installed. Multiplayer, direct connect, local host. Or you can just add a server and call it local host. You don't have to, or the IP being local host, you don't actually have to um, direct connect, but it's just better, in my opinion. It's easier. And now you're in, as you see. So then you can open up the admin thing up your username, op space your username, and now you are opt. And yeah, there you go. Three and a half minutes, not that bad. Um, obviously for your friends to be able to join, you would have to use Hamachi and stuff like that, but there's millions of tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. Um, I just don't really want to share my IP with everyone. Just because in the in the past I've been hacked and stuff like that because of things like this, so I'd prefer not to, and I hope you'll understand that. And yeah, um, so this is free to like free, obviously as long as you have Minecraft, um, which I'm sh I'm sure you if you have Minecraft you'll be watching this video, so obviously it's free from now. You don't have to pay like a dollar a month or ten dollars a month or something for a server. You just bought Minecraft twenty years ago and you have it. 
Um, yeah, so by doing this, you can, or you all you have to do now is either port forward, which is just opening your internet to allow people to join, um, or you can use Hamachi, and your friend installs Hamachi, and they join you that way, which I think is a lot easier. Um, it's sort of like a recurring thing, though. You have to do it constantly, um, where port forwarding is a one-time one time thing. But that involves like going into your your router, your Wi-Fi modem, your inter internet thing, um, and doing stuff. And I, again, don't want to show my IP and everything, so I am not doing that. Um, I think that's everything. Obviously, there's a way to. Obviously, there's a way to um allocate more RAM. I've got two videos on that, on allocating RAM to the server. It takes literally like 10 seconds to do so. Um, but yeah, I'll just leave that for you guys to go with if you actually need more RAM. Depends if you're having like one other person or 10 other people. It depends on a lot of things. So obviously, um, Enter at your own risk uh, when it comes to this. Obviously, the server download is safe because it's Microsoft, it's Mojang. But anything else you're downloading, you don't have to download anything else besides a Hamachi. That's it. Like, only Hamachi. Everything else is safe. Well, nothing else is safe because you don't have to download anything. Um, just make sure your Java is up to date. You can go that do that by just going to java.com. And yeah, I hope this helped, guys. Um, I hope I get better. I hope you all sticked around. Stuck? Stick? Sticked? Stuck around? I don't know English. Thank you all. Have a good day. Peace.